Kang jumped a split second into the past using inferior time travel. Thus creating a new timeline where he arrived next to his past self. <gasps> Both Kangs then jumped again, creating a second new timeline in which two Kangs materialized next to that timeline's original. <sighs> Whereupon the three of them made yet another jump, leading to the four Kangs we see here. Do they intend to return to the exact moments and the universes they left and repeat all of this for each timeline in turn? Such effort, such wasted energy. Is this their idea of conquest? Yeah! It doesn't even work. No, no! But still, for a moment, I wonder if I've misjudged the man. Did he use my time technology for this? True time travel with no chronal divergence. Is this the final destiny of Kang? <laughs> Ouch. Well, rather me than me. Kangs come and go. The conquest goes on. It seems not. One conquest has ended then. One timeline is now without a Kang. Do they feel nothing at this? Does that failure not humiliate them all? It disgusts me. At the very least, he could use robots. Even when playing on multiple boards, there's a difference between sacrificing pawns and blithely laying down your king. Victor, really? I'll thank you to keep your disintegrator blast to yourself while you're in my home. I was simply evening the odds, Nathaniel. And cutting to the kill. Blue raspberry flavor! I want more!